Hey there, everyone. This is Sean Delo, 7986. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday, uh, Saturday morning. Also, good morning as well. Dear Starbucks, can you please stop trying to find some ways to people that hate y'all for like a day, maybe two? I don't know, man. It's like every time when Starbucks do something, it does nothing but piss a lot of people off in, in more ways than one. I mean, seriously, I like to focus on other stuff, too, you know, like, you know, probably going to be talking about how uh, Colorado blew a 29 nothing lead to Stanford, only to lose 46-43 in double overtime last night. I'm just shaking my dang head on that one. They just, that was like, that was like falconing. That's like some Atlanta Falcons crap. Who my team plays this Sunday. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to focus on that one because I feel like that needs to be talked about, man. That needs to be talked about. I'll probably talk about it when I get off of work. But, no, 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 no. We're going to have to talk about this one. So, uh, let's get to it. So, as you may know, the Palestine, the Israel Palestine conflict that's going down going down uh, right now in Israel. There, Israel, y'all know what it is. Well, now Starbucks is facing um, calls for over, or calls for boycotts over union pallet over the the workers union uh, supporting Palestine. And it's from Newsweek. Um, Starbucks faces uh, boycott calls over union Palestinian support. Disgusting. Written by Jamie Body. Anyone might fuck. Anyone might fuck my last name's weird, but I'm a, I'm let it on that one. Starbucks has been hit with calls for a boycott due to their pro-Palestinian statement, allegedly released by worker-led union, labor union, Starbucks Workers Union, amid the Israel-Palestinian conflict. The union is a separate entity and not linked to Starbucks, with the latter releasing a statement on the matter of its website. The popular coffee coffee chain was bashed by Florida Senator Rick Scott after the deleted post was reportedly shared online by Starbucks Workers United, an affiliation of the Service Employees International Union. The union allegedly expressed solidarity with Palestine in a deleted social media post, the Washington Free Beacon reported. In response to an image of a Bulldozer operated by Gaza resistance tearing down the Israeli occupation fence. Individual union members also allegedly post about the conflict online as well. The controversy comes days after Hamas led the deadliest Palestinian militant attack on Israel in history on October 7th. Which. Yeah, yeah. October 7th. Uh... Well, yeah, it, it, which was last Saturday, of course. Israel subsequently launched its heaviest ever ever airstrikes on Gaza. As of Friday, at least 1,300 people have been killed in Israel, the Associated Press reported, cited the Israeli military. Roughly 1,500 1, 1, people have been killed in Gaza, according to the authorities there, the AP reported. Newsweek reaches out to Starbucks Workers United via email for comment. Senator Scott shared the Washington Free Beacon article on X, formerly known as Twitter, writing, This is disgusting. Every American should condemn the atrocities that Iran backed Hamas terrorists committed in Israel. Boycott Starbucks until its leaders are strongly denounced and takes action against this horrific support of terrorism. Many of his supporters replied to the post back in, back in the boycott. Boycott Starbucks, mind, mind you, their coffee is absolutely rank at X user posted. Well, I, 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 shoot, I don't even mess with, I don't even, uh, mess with Starbucks coffee. I usually get my coffee from either, um, 7-Eleven or Latte Cafe. And, uh, for Latte Cafe, I always get French vanilla. Really good. But, uh, I always go to 7-Eleven to get my, uh, Specialty coffee, this which is which is pumpkin spice latte. I love that stuff. Can't get enough of it. 
Another said, time to boycott Starbucks. Employee union celebrates Hamas. Arrogant, woke assholes. Yeah, that's, yeah, that sounds about right. If there was ever a time to end Starbucks, it is now. Boycott Starbucks. One person wrote, the Israel-Gaza conflict is a highly contentious and complex issue, and opinions on it can vary very widely. It's important to note that Starbucks is a global corporation, and individuals may choose to express their views or, or take actions related to various political matters in different ways, including boycotts. One social media account putting it out on X. Starbucks itself released a statement dissing itself from the union. We unequivocally condemn the acts of terrorism, hate, and violence and disagree with the statements and views expressed by Workers United and its members. Workers United words and acts belong to them and them alone. It went on to say, Workers United, it's a local affiliates, union organizers, and those who identify as members of Starbucks Workers United do not speak for Starbucks coffee company and do not represent the company's views, positions, or beliefs. There is no legal entity known as Starbucks Workers United. Rather, it is a subset of partners that are represented by Workers United, an affiliate of the Service Employees International Union, SEIU, with more than 2 million members working across a range of industrial industries in the U.S. In the US and Canada. I mean, if you really want, and that's, I think that's the, yep, I think that's the, I think the article ends there. Uh, articles uh, end there, and uh, some of them, but uh, yeah, it is, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, this is nothing new, man, it's like, Listen, this whole situation with um, what's happening in Israel right now, it is drawing a lot, a lot, oh, a lot of battle, of battle lines and and groups. You got one side who who support Israel, and you have one side who port who ports uh, Palestine and, and Hamas. I mean, and trust me, when it comes to people who support. If you want my honest opinion on this one, the people who are supporting Hamas and Palis who Hamas for for doing this crap and saying um, they stand with Palestine, it's not anymore for them. I mean, to be perfectly honest, it's really not because if you think, because trust me, I there were I did some story I did talk about some stories where when they support the other side, bad stuff ha bad stuff happens. Like for ex like I mean I already, I talked about how. Uh, Shit, let's see. I talked about how um, the beat writer for the 76ers got fired from his job when he slammed um, the 76ers in a tweet that supporting uh, Israel. There's Bila Khalifa who got fired from Playboy for st for showing support for Hamas. There's um, there's um, Harvard students who are now backing away because you know CEOs are now demanding the names. Of the of the students of the Harvard students who signed a letter who condemning Israel and supporting uh, Palestine, so they don't hire them in the workforce again, which I feel like it should. And now we got this, and now we got this happening to Starbucks. I mean, there's nothing new. I mean, this is Starbucks we're talking about. This the same company who support who supported B who supported BOM, I think. I said I think I'm not sure someone can uh, count on it. Oh yeah, and let's not forget that BLM also stands with Pal with Palestine because of course they do. I mean, think about it. terrorists, terrorists born terrorists. Who saw that coming? Oh wait, everybody with a brain. But yeah, I feel like it's really stupid um, that. Um, you got people. You got people here who are sh who are supporting Palestine. Who supporting Palestine of all people? After what happened at that? I mean, seriously, how can you support the Palestine when the terrorist group did so many atrocities, so many fucking atrocities in that war in, in Israel right now? 
But I know everyone says, well, well, you, you gotta look at it from the, from their from their point of view. I like, no, no, no. You, you don't play that shit. You don't play that fucking card. You don't play that card. There were so many different ways they could have gone about it. Even my friend, who even my friend said the best, said like if like Israel gave gave Palestine multiple chances to um give to you know have peace, you know just uh bury the hatchet and everything. And every time they sp and every time they they uh, deny it every time. So what? They did what Hamas did. That was a nuclear option. So now Israel is going to retaliate. And trust me, they want they want it back. They want it back in freaking blood, man. They want it back in in freaking blood. Okay. But yeah, this is so. Yeah, this is so um dumb. Um, I don't know why everyone is trying to side with Palestine, with Palestine after doing this shit. I mean, like I said, I, I'm not, man. I mean, shoot. I mean, I'm not gonna side with a terrorist organization who did who did some of the most fucked up things imaginable. But that's just my, but that's just me. But I will say this: I stand with Israel, and if anyone got a problem with that, please keep in mind. I don't, I don't care. I don't care how you feel like, oh, you're not supporting uh, Palestine? After what they did, after what they did last Saturday and what they're doing right now? Hell no. And don't try, and don't try to, and also, I'm just going to say it right now. If you're going to try to text me, if you're trying to leave a message on this video or any of my videos to talk about it, please Please be smart and don't bring up and try not to bring up uh, the oh oh what happened in, oh well, what happened back in the day during slavery times. That's a total dick move. But anywho, that's just my two cents of the whole thing. But I want to know what you think, okay? As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification the bell so you don't miss an update. Share with friends, share with neighbors, share with, share with others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Sean Double Seven Ninety Eight Six Nine. Now, thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.